Hello. How are you? Hello. Uh, so this episode, um, I'm going to be doing some neck work. I never leveled frets and crowned them and all that good stuff that I hear is so tedious. So I'm going to take a stab at that. And I'm going to be using these handy little... Uh, tools that Brad came up with. Well, Brad copied them from Dan, I think. So I thought I'd try it out. So we'll see how that goes, right? So here I'm just cutting strips of various grades of sandpaper to put on the little uh, fret sanders. So we just cut them into strips and then I'm going to attach them to the sanders with uh, double coated tape from 3M of course. Trying out Brad's new tool. Hey, Brad. I hope this works.
great camera work, but uh, turned out really nice. Nice crown, nice and flat and level. So thumbs up. Yeah, so I was pretty excited about this. It's the first time I've ever uh, worked on a fret and had it go well. So especially since I made the tool myself in my shop. So I'm excited, so I'm having an ice pop. So yeah, kill me. So I didn't have any uh, zero, 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 zero steel wool laying around. I just had this rough stuff, which I thought I'd give it a try. It worked okay, but it uh, left some visual scratches in there, so I decided I'd move on and go to the hardware store and pick up the right stuff. So this is where my true craftsmanship comes through. I didn't like how this uh, body and neck mounted together. It was kind of thick. You couldn't really get your fingers up to the upper frets. So I decided to mark it and sand it away using files and sandpaper. So it turned out pretty good. Uh, I don't have a photo, unfortunately, but maybe the final product, you'll be able to see it. True craftsmanship. So that is it for the neck work. I don't know if you can see. I don't have the greatest camera, but shaved her back a little bit. So when you're jamming on the high notes, trying to be slash, you can get your fat fingers in there. It's better. It's better. Trust me. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you like what you saw, and if you were patient enough to make it this far, <laughs> I don't know if I would have. Please like and uh, subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. I'm going to keep doing um, hopefully more videos like this even after the contest ends because I want to get back into building guitars. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later.